a vibrant democracies with diverse and pluralistic societies, and our economies are driven by the principles of free markets. We also share a common worldview, one that values independence and cooperation, especially within the context of Global South Cooperation. Just a few days ago, Honorable Foreign Minister Acha participated in the third voice of Global South Summit hosted by India, reflecting this shared commitment. Over the last year and a half, we have witnessed a significant increase in high-level exchanges, including four ministerial visits, culminating now in my visit to Panama. This is a clear testament to the growing intensity of our engagements. Our discussions today have built on this strong foundation, exploring new avenues to deepen our friendship and expand our cooperation. Indian companies already based here, as also those that plan to begin their operations in future, all get attracted to Panama given its strategic location, top connectivity, and close cultural and political linkages with the Latin American countries, both in the vicinity in Central America and the Caribbean, and far away from, uh, far away in South America. Areas that hold potential or either breaking new ground or growing deeper roots from my understanding include healthcare. We have already discussed all these points with uh, Honorable uh, Foreign Minister, uh, and again I'm repeating here in this August gathering, healthcare. The global challenge of making healthcare affordable and accessible is one that both India and Panama are uniquely positioned to address together. As the pharmacy capital of the world, India is well positioned to collaborate. During the COVID-19 pandemic, India supplied vaccines and the medicines to more than 100 countries based on our firm belief that in times of crisis, the world needs to, become, uh, worlds need to come together. Collaborate and treat each other as a global.